Hello Gears, welcome to the channel. This channel is dedicated to the whole of the Gears of War series. What you can expect in the coming months and weeks is theories, facts, gameplay montages and much more. I hope you enjoy our very first video. Let's get started. Fact 1 a typical locust was a muscular creature with tough skin and scales almost seven feet tall. Although many were larger, like General Ram is ten feet tall, half an inch shorter than the average bus, and the only locust to be able to control the krill. Then we'd bat looking things in Gears 1. They were considerably larger than a normal human and notably stronger. Their bones were heavier and showed signs of extensive thickening. Fact 2 Then let's carve our names into history. I would feast upon the terror of all Sierra. Before the end, I will demand recognition from our gods. Ram's declaration before commending the assault on Janamon. Emergence Day occurred a mere six weeks after the Pendulum Wars ended. Just when everyone was getting settled into the Sierra's first era of peace, following the Pendulum Wars, a murderous creatures known as the Locust erupted from the hollow and began assaulting mankind. They attacked with a coordinated planet-wide offensive which no one was prepared for. Many perished during the confusion. One quarter of humanity's population was decimated on the first day alone. The day those creatures surfaced from Sierra's subterranean tunnels became known as Emergence Day. Fact 3 Locust Origins Unless you've read some of the Gears of War novels, you probably didn't know that locusts were actually humans at one point. How did they turn into murderous monsters? Well, simple. Emulsion. When the emulsion gold rush hit, countless numbers of folks turned to extraction for work. Unfortunately, overexposure to the stuff resulted in a sickness called lambency. That began transforming humans into monsters. The cold quarantine all infected miners inside its New Hope research facility. You know that uh, AI controlled death trap you exp <laughs> explored in Gears of War 2? Well, that's it. So emulsion extraction could continue without interference from outside forces concerned about morality. Eventually though, things started to get out of hand. So the facility was shut down and a majority of the infected were transferred to a separate facility on Mount Kadar. The underground tunnels between Mount Kadar ultimately became the locust capital stronghold. Fact 4 the Swarm are the evolutionary successes to the Locust Horde. A bit like us to apes. The creator of the Locust, Dr. Niles Sampson, genetically designed the Locust to survive generational conflict by engineering the ability for the Locust to adapt and evolve by hibernation and metamorphosis. After exposure to the emulsion, countermeasure weapon, the emulsion residing in the DNA of the locust expelled from their bodies and crystallized to form an impenetrable cocoon shell. Fact 5 Anya Anya died when James was six and players can visit her grave in the fourth game. When you walk towards Marcus's home, Gears of War 4, how she died? Gears 5 heavily implies Anya's death was due to complications from trying to have a second child. Also, Anya's mother, known as Major Helena Stroud, another fact you may not know, was a gear officer in the Coalition of Order Governments Army's 26th Royal Tyrant Infantry. She was part of Howard Company 17 years before Emergence Day, and the commanding officer of C Company 4 years before Emergence Day. Helena fought at the Battle of Shavad and the Battle of Ragani during the invasion of Kashkur. She commanded C Company at the Akastu Emulsion Fields and was killed during the Battle of Asfo Fields in two years before Emergence Day and was awarded the Embry Star for her actions during that battle. 
Thank you so much Gears, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like and subscribe and share. See you in the next one. Delta A.